Hello everyone and welcome to my last day in Seoul. Actually my last morning. I leave in about 40 minutes. So I thought I would do a an apartment tour. So obviously this is an Airbnb as I've mentioned in all my other videos or all the videos I've uploaded will be linked down below. Um, but yeah, this is an Airbnb which I used for quarantine and I would have moved out uh, next Tuesday I think. Uh, but obviously I'm leaving so this is kind of my last place. So yeah, I thought I would give you a little tour to kind of show you. I do actually recommend this place if you are, um, you know, coming to Seoul and you want an Airbnb. So we're in Gangdonggu. This is Prujo City. Um, I don't. I'll leave the address down below if you want to check it out. I don't. I don't condone Airbnb because they're so problematic. But like, I do really like this place. Um, it is. It is a really really good place. Uh, so yeah. I thought I would give you a little toy. Please excuse my t-shirt. Like I washed it, I think, before I came out here and it just not sitting. Also, you may notice, uh, yes, this is like the one that Tay has, uh, Tay, Tay Young from BTS. So I, I found one online like it. Um, so yeah, let's do a tour. Um, I won't go outside the room because people are on their way to work and they'll just be like, who's this crazy lady filming? Um, but let's start from the entranceway. So this is the entranceway. This is where you walk in and obviously here in Korea you take your shoes off um, here there is a closet cupboard whatever you'd like to call it where you can put your shoes I never put anything in here um, like anything at all because I just kept my well, I've only worn like two pair three pairs of shoes since I got here um, so I always kept them down there but yeah, so there's that cupboard. Really convenient, but yeah, I always just shoved my shoes down there. Then we have the full length mirror, which is where I talk to you in most of my videos. And then currently my suitcases live here because obviously I'm leaving. Um, so yeah, as we come in, we have a little step. And then to our right, we have the bathroom. With, yes, you guessed it, even more mirrors. So we have this massive mirror. Um, and then we have sink, you get bar soap, not liquid soap, um, sink, uh, hand towel, and then there's like storage under there where the bleach is. Um, it's a wet room, so as you may have noticed, there's a drain down there. You have your shower slippers, and then this is the shower here. It comes with um, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash, but I use my own. And then the shower, it's quite a big shower, and there's even a light. And in here you have a cupboard, so in here uh, you have a hairdryer, towels and toilet roll. And then we have the Febreze and some micellar happy bath thing. And then we have the loo, yes this is a loo with all the buttons. I haven't touched any buttons but I do know that the warmer is on because um, whenever I go to loo my bum is warm. Um, and then these are the, the flushes, obviously. So yeah, that's the bathroom. It's it's a nice bathroom, it's a decent size. I like bathrooms small, less to clean. Um, so there's that. So then we come out of the bathroom um, and we enter into the main living space again, full of luggage and suitcases. So to our left, we have the fridge Dosha Poker Standard fridge, which currently smells like kimchi. And then, actually quite a decent sized freezer. Uh, then we have your two hobs. They don't have ovens here, so you have your two hobs. Washing machine, which I have used, is pretty easy to use. And then just leftover groceries that I have. And then in this one, you have your knives. And then your washing stuff and your bin bags. The bins are so strict here, even I'm just like can't wrap my brain around it. We have a sink, quite a large sink, and the little draining board. We have my leftover food that I can't eat because I'm not here long enough and can't take with me, so my leftover food. And then we have one drawer where you have chopsticks, you have spoons and forks, and then your two utensils. Obviously what you do for washing up. And then in this one, this is where you dry your washing. So this expands and you dry your washing here. We have the microwave, rice cooker, and we have the kettle. And then up here we have 
It's covered space with obviously Airbnb, so it's you have like pans and pots and you don't have that much though, especially when it comes to um, like you don't even have like blunt knives um, and you don't have plates. That's the closest you'll get to a plate. Um, but oh, sorry, my nose is still blocked. Um, but you make it work, and then you have like more utensils there. And then if we carry on, we get to the wardrobe space. So, actually, the wardrobe's quite large, I think, for a small apartment. It's quite, quite huge. So it looks like that, and then you have some drawers, and then storage. And the iron, and the ironing board is up there. And then you even have another little wardrobe here, uh, with hanging space, the comforter, which I used as extra pillows, and then the hoover, which I did use yesterday, and was surprisingly easy to use, considering I'm... I don't want Hoover in. Let's try and get it back in, because it... Please go back in. Go in. I literally feel like this is my entire life at the moment. Go in. Oh, there we go. And then you have the curtains, which I'm obsessed with. Can you see they have cut-out stars? And then we have a nice big double bed. It was enough for me, my plushie, and the laptop. Um... You only get two pillows, which is why I used um, the sofa pillows and I used the comforter. Uh, you have a uh, extension that side, an extension this side, and then you have this stool, which is the most rickety stool. I use it as a side table, and then you have the sofa with my backpack on it. Um, this sofa is so uncomfortable; like, don't even sit on it. Um, I tend to just use it to rest the camera on, um, or if I was doing something. I did try and sit on it when I first got here, but it's just so uncomfortable. And then over here we have a plug-in heater, which I never use, so the, the heating comes through the floor, I believe. We have the TV and the internet. I never turn the TV on, but I did use the internet. Um, you have your access card to the building, and then this is for the food bin. And then you just have drawers, which had just tissues in it, which obviously having a cold I made use of I went through like two boxes and then the last thing is this little desk area it does have a chair I promise um, I used it just to dump stuff and also to keep my water uh, and then this is your little intercom for if someone comes to your door you can see who they are and then the heating which I never touched and then the light switches and that brings you back to the entranceway so yeah it's a one room wonder and that's it from afar I mean, I must admit, it, it is nice. Like, as one room wonders go, it is quite nice. Um, as for the view, sorry, I might just leave the curtains open. Let's do that. Uh, your view is residential. So you have all these lovely people here. And then you have, oh, you can't really see. Let me see if I can zoom in. Not really. Um, you'll see it better in person. You have, um, you can see the mountains, or you can kind of see the mountains, and then the city, and then over there, there's that blue thing right there is the Han River, uh, and then uh, there's Daiso right there. Not that you can really see is Daiso, and then down below is recycling. Um, but yeah, it's not a, it's not a bad view. I just I never had the curtains open because. I didn't want my neighbours to stare at me, so we're gonna we're gonna shut those actually because it's it's minus ten outside right now, and trust me, that's another reason why I kept the curtains closed because you can tell when it's minus ten because it's freezing. Um, but that's the apartment. I do recommend this place, even if you're moving to Seoul and you're looking for an apartment and there's a place for sale in here. I do recommend it. Um, it's easy to get in and out of. You have Chonho Station on line five and eight five minutes five five or so minutes down the road you have like a daiso you've got like subway and burger king you've got e-mart um you've got this like two daisos actually you, there's quite a lot around here um and line five and eight are, are pretty good to like get to everywhere you need to go um i will miss the subway system don't get me wrong the underground all the way being a born and bred londoner but i did like the subway system here um, my favourite was when I went to the Lottie World Mall because it's like just three stops I didn't have to transfer for the first time since I got here. Um, but yeah, so that's the apartment tour. Thank you so much for joining me on this Soul adventure. This is the last video in the Soul series. 
Um, well, I suppose not. Maybe I'll, um, other than the how to come and teach in Seoul, even though I'm not teaching in Seoul. Small details. Um, but yes, this is like the, the actual last video here in Seoul. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I am now going, oh, going to get the plane home. I hate flying. It's 12 and a half hours, but wish me luck. I will speak to you guys soon. Bye.